What was your, sir? This is a Wendy's, moment. I worked at Walmart for a long time in the hardware department. Had a customer call asking if we sold toilets. I said, like, toilet seats. He said, no, like actual toilets. So I said, sorry, we just sell the seats and replacement parts, no porcelain. He got all huffy and said, Jesus, what is this place? Walmart. I paused for a moment and said, yes sir, it is, silence for a long moment. Then he said in a little voice, this isn't Home Depot, no sir, you called Walmart, oh shit, I am so sorry, and he hung up. I laughed my ass off. Went to drive through at a Wendy's and the person taking the order said welcome to Walmart. I was really confused and I heard laughing and he sighed I'm so sorry he works there too and was on autopilot. I was in Lowe's one morning right after they opened. There was a woman at the service desk having a complete meltdown yelling and screaming because Lowe's didn't have a licensed contractor there at the store for her to hire. She apparently woke up that morning and decided she needed a deck like that same day and thought she could just go to Lowe's and have someone immediately start building a deck. It was dead so I stood with the cashier listening to the show. They ended up having to call the police to get her to leave. Work in radio. Got a call on the contest line one time. Yeah, I need a hotel room, said the caller. Okay. How would you like me to help you? Well, book me one. You're aware you called a radio station's contest line, right? Yeah. Don't you book hotel rooms for rock stars when they do a show in town? Book me one. I'm a high school teacher in Australia. I had a parent rail me out that I wasn't teaching their daughter how to do her taxes. I'm a history teacher. I love when customers traumatize on me. Okay sir that will be $2.15. Yeah my dog just died and my son was arrested. My mom's house burned down last week too. Oh, would you like a straw? I work as a facilities manager for a company with a few hundred locations around the country. Back at the end of 2020 I was having trouble getting in touch with a vendor we had a contract with to disown work around one of our offices. Nothing big. I figured he just ghosted us, so I began looking for another vendor who could take over the work. After two months of radio silence, vendor 1 calls me out of the blue and was clearly very drunk and crying at 1pm on a weekday. Turns out he had gotten COVID, was hospitalized, got blood clots in both legs, and had to have them both amputated. He called me while I was at work and told me his whole life story. I ended up staying on the phone with him for about 30 to 45 minutes and I helped him track down a grief counselor. Hopefully he went. I still wonder how he's doing sometimes. A man come into my tattoo shop once and asked for a massage with a happy ending. Was like, air this Isa tattoo studio not a massage pelor, and he just stood there like, yeah? I know, as if tattooists are a synonymous with sexual masseuse. Uber driver once had a girl I picked up from a karaoke bar that was obvious upset, distressed. Asked if she was okay. Yeah, I just did karaoke, oh. That's pretty cool. I did a song for my dad that died a year ago. Aw, that's sweet of you. Nothing else was said until I got her home, which was only a couple blocks away. As I pulled in thesis what she said. I'm not going to give you a bad rating for this but you could have been more emotionally available for me. I just said, I'm, sorry, and had to stop myself from bursting into laughter. I felt bad for her of course but that was just the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard from a passenger. Especially prefacing it with, I'm not gonna give you a bad rating for this but, second story picked up a lady, she was distressed, I asked if I could do anything for her and she said, not nah, unless, you can take back the last 40 years of my life, it was a very silent awkward ride. I work for a CPA office that is in an office park with a couple doctor's offices. One day a guy came in only speaking Spanish, so I grabbed my Spanish-speaking colleague to translate. He talked to the guy in the lobby for a few minutes, then the guy left and my coworker came back and asked if that was a joke or we put someone up to that. Apparently, the guy explained that his testicles were extremely swollen and painful, he was looking for one of the doctor's offices and just walked into the first building in the complex. I'm, sir, we do taxes here, not testicles. Closing shift at a Starbucks was like 10 p.m. at night and this couple come inside and walk up to meet the front counter saying, the deli across the street is racist towards white people. I really had no response besides just standing there for a few seconds before saying, duh, did you want to order something? I was working at McDonald's and this lady said, can he get the Wendy's 4 for 4? I said, ma'am this Issa McDonald's, and without a moment's hesitation Cher replied, indeed it is can I get a Big Mac? Not one specific moment, since it happened all the time when I worked at Ulta. I'm looking for this lipstick, shows me Sephora brand lipstick, we don't sell that, but I can show you something similar. No, I want this specific lipstick, don't you sell it? Well where can I buy it? At Sephora ma'am. Got one, nice lady walks into the cinema I work in, asks for a ticket yada yada. We start chatting Abbott while I ring her up, explain how the cinema works etc, it was a slow day too so I could actually do that, 
and that's when she asks me what hall to go to. I explain to her she has access to all of them, she can just pick wherever she goes, first. Cue this. Okay that's great. Where's the Barbie movie in though? What do you mean Barbie movie? Lady looks around. Realizes things are very fucky. Oh, oh no, oh, I see it too now. Yeah this isn't this kind of cinema. Let me reimburse you. Turns out she literally managed to miss every DVD rental case, the posters and interior deco of the porn cinema she walked into. Edit. I am surprised at the amount of you that didn't know porn cinemas are a thing actually. I thought they were a common thing, granted a dying one but that they still existed. I worked in a local cafe, newsstand, convenience store type spot. We also had a Ticketmaster outlet for a bit. Our small town had an annual concert that usually ran two or three nights. It was really popular with the local folks, so it brought in a lot of foot traffic with people buying tickets, my boss was honestly a small business mastermind. That was the extent of our involvement, we sold and printed gate passes, on night one of the event, I was closing the store as usual, at 10pm. An irate woman called wanting to file a noise complaint about the concert. I was like, ma'am, you must have the wrong number, thesis local cafe. She insisted that she was filing an official noise complaint and demanded to speak to the owner right now, 10 p.m. on a Friday? Yeah, he's not here. He also isn't the police and doesn't deal with noise complaints. Also, it's only 10 p.m. and this concert has been widely advertised for months. She then went on a wild rant that we needed Toto, something, about the noise, since we sold tickets. She wouldn't let me off the call and was going berserk. I told her I was going to disconnect since we had nothing to do with the event or the noise. She called back multiple times, and finally I just let the phone ring, was still ringing when we locked up. Ma'am are you okay? Delivered two large pizzas to a guy's apartment at 10am on a Sunday. When I got there, he proceeded to say, my girlfriend just dumped me. I slowly backed away and said I had more deliveries to do. This story is gonna show my age for a few reasons, but when I was about 12 or 13, I saved up my allowance and neighborhood yard work money to finally afford the newest iPod, the ones that could play videos as well. I wanted to make sure they had it at the store before I got my parents to drive me there, so I opened the phone book, found the Apple Store, and called them dot guy at Apple Store. Hello? Me? Hi do you have the iPod video in stock? Guy? Uh. This is an Apple Store. Like, crunch crunch. I had called the gift shop at an Apple Orchard, 